Palestine is expected to achieve the status of non-member state in the UN. Voting will take place in the General Assembly, whose 193 members could make Palestine the 194th. Full UN membership was blocked by the UN Security Council last year, but this time Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is confident in a majority vote, despite opposition from the US and Israel. There are consequences uh, within the international system if you are occupying another state which is member of the same organization. And therefore, we believe that the day after Israel will have to wait the consequences of their actions a little bit more. Both the Israelis and Americans are urging Abbas to concentrate on the stalled Middle East peace process, with Tel Aviv even saying the UN move would undermine any hope for a peace deal. One doesn't have to exaggerate what this resolution does to the status of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. It does absolutely nothing. This has no implication for the IDF, for settlements, for all the issues that we have a disagreement about with the Palestinian side. A non-member state would have access to the International Criminal Court, a factor Tel Aviv may be thinking about after the recent conflict in the Gaza Strip. I have a simple message for those gathered in the General Assembly today. No decision by the UN can break the 4,000-year-old bond between the people of Israel and the land of Israel. Orient House in East Jerusalem, once the headquarters of the PLO, has stood empty since being shut down by Israeli authorities 11 years ago. Perhaps the UN vote on what is also Palestinian Solidarity Day can restore its former glory.